Hello guys, this is my review of my recently purchased solar charge controller. Now, basically I've got the controller right behind, so here we are. Ta-da! It is the BSC 3048. This is a 30 amp, 12, 24, 36, 48 volt compatible. Now I just wanted to do a quick little video because they're all the same and once you kind of understand one you'll get the basics of all of them. Basically for every charge controller you're going to have certain connections. The first one you'll see these little squares that is a symbol of your solar panel. You'll see a positive and you'll see a negative. You'll also see next to it you'll see the battery with the positive and negative. You're also going to see what you see as a light, positive and negative. Now, I'm going to explain what they are and go through them all. The one on the far left is again is the solar panel input. Those are going to be your positive and negative cables coming from your solar panels will be attached to the ports underneath and I'll show you in a minute. And then the middle one is the battery. You have a positive and negative as well as the light. That is a DC light. So for instance, if you wanted to run uh, a little 12 volt light, you could um, hook that up and you're going to get basically 12 volts coming out of that light switch. So now that you know the switches, now you have a plus and minus. You have a few uh, USB ports. Now the plus and minus is made to navigate your LCD display I'll, at the end of this video, I'll show you this hooked up, and we'll do a quick little overview on the settings and buttons. But let's go ahead and go into this a little bit more detail. You'll now see on the bottom, you'll see these connectors. And in there, when you unscrew the screw, these will start to separate. And once they separate, you then would slide in your cable and then tighten these screws down and it's really that simple so again you would find the positive and the negative make sure you don't switch them and push your cable in there between the two teeth and then slowly tighten this down and give a little tug on it and if it's tight then you are in business again sorry my focus so that is how you connect and install this it is called a mister power or power mister whichever way you want to pronounce it and it is a PWM controller versus an MPPT. Now the only difference is is that this is a less expensive of the two which it is this is a PWM which the only difference is is that the, the solar panel output is going to be a little bit smoother and a little bit more uh, pure sine wave as you would say it's a more uh, better signal it's going to give you the maximum uh, draw from your solar panels versus this PWM which is just gonna give me uh, a little bit over what uh, you know around 50 52 volts max uh, coming through the controller even if I've got 60 volts going through the solar panel so in hotter weather this PWM is going to work better than in the, the hotter weathers than in cold. So since I'm in the hot weather, I'm going to be using this a lot. I'm going to be over in Asia. I'm just taking the raw power from the solar panels and bypassing. So if it takes an extra few minutes to charge my batteries on top, it's okay. I mean, if it burns out or it doesn't work, we'll let you know. But I'm going to put this to use. And in the next video, right after this, you'll see it installed and we'll be able to go through all the buttons with it. Here we go. Okay, Trower Rock Stars. The BSC 3048, which stands for 30 volts, uh, 30 amp and 48 volts, it is now connected to my batteries. And uh, I'm also tell you, I went ahead and added an additional cable which is a wire from each battery to double its AWG which is the thickness of the cable and that way these will be able to put out uh, 
enough current without overheating. This cable here is actually a 110 volt uh, extension cable that I cut. So these are rated for at least 15 amp and well more than 110 volts. So it should be okay. If not, I'll have to up, uh, up this cable, make it a little thicker. Again, we're going to check it out. I think we'll be okay because I'm not like a madman and I don't think I need to, I'm not going on a marathon. So anyway, I wanted to go through this charge controller and show you how it works. Okay, so now it says in the manual you want to make sure you hook your batteries up first. So that's what I've done. I hooked my batteries up. The solar panels are not connected yet, nor are the, uh, if I had lights for it. So my USBs are working. So if I wanted to charge a USB, bang, I put them in. It, when I plugged it in, it did auto detect my 48 volts. You can see I'm at 52.3 volts. And the way this works is that you can click this and you'll go through a series of windows and you would then be able to hold this button in and that will then get you into each of your parameters. Now I have everything set at auto except for there's a lithium battery, battery setting that I've changed which is here it is to 3.2 and that's what it says for my LiPo battery. Again if you had just regular uh, acid or gel there's a different configuration for each battery so they charge correctly. So basically, this thing is going, folks. So I just wanted to show you that you wanted to make sure that you hook the batteries up before you hook up your solar panels. Now, this is my old charge controller, and I leave it this way, that way. I don't risk shorting these out. And before I hook it up, if you watch my other video, you'll know that my solar output is around 25 watts or 25 volts per panel. And I have them in parallel, so it's uh, double the amp. So now what I have to do is I'm going to have to put them in series. So when the sun's out, I will then get over 50 volts, which will allow me to start charging these batteries and then running my e-bike. So since the sun is down today, and it also says when you want to hook up the solar panels, you want to go ahead and make sure you don't have a lot of power or sun coming and because you could short out your system. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and switch around my solar panels from parallel to in series, and that will bump it up. I will then connect them, and then I will come back and make another video to show you them all hooked up. It, as you see right now, it's giving me uh, a happy face and it's happy with the voltage all right so this is positive this is negative this is positive this is negative so you connect this cable here to this cable that and then this becomes your negative this becomes your positive so those positive and negatives and connect here and you're now good to go all right guys this is the most important part of this before I hook up my solar panels Remember, I'm disconnecting from these. Now, even though this says it's black and this is red, you always want to check it with a voltmeter, okay? Now, this new one has backwards protection, so I can put it in. It'll probably give an error code, but the reality is, is that some of these controllers like this, if you plug this in backwards, you'd probably end up smoking it. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to try to just basically show you and then I'm going to disconnect this. I'll probably turn it back on. I'll show you the voltage of this panel just so I know I've got voltage because I have hooked them up correctly and we'll take it to the next stage. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you that I'm putting out 33.67 volts right now and there's no real sun. It's just kind of a... Uh, uh, you know it's setting but it just shows me that once the sun's on this will be well over um, 50 volts and I should be good and again I appreciate you guys is watching because remember this is the travel rock star we're getting ready to travel around the whole entire world with this as well as my new e-bike which I'll be premiering 
or it's probably already been premiered if you've already watched this video. But again, this is how you set up a solar panel system to make sure you have enough output to handle your charge controller that's going to have enough power to charge whatever battery bank setup you have set up a 12 volt, 24 volt, 36 volt, or 48 volt. Again, if you like this video and you think it's informative, why don't you do me a favor and hit a like and subscribe? And that'll tell the YouTube algorithm that this is a cool video and it's informative and people can learn from this and benefit from this and get off gasoline, then yeah, it's all worth it.